Welcome back. This is episode 214 of NoobTube, a weekly independent podcast where we are having our last big game episode before we uh, uh, bust out the best of the year action. Uh, so that's next week. Yeah, we're going to be recording a huge long episode talking about all of, all of our favorite games. So it's going to yeah. be, a, I think it'll be a fun episode. That's next week. Um, it's going to be two, probably two long episodes. Yeah. We'll have two of those and then we'll have Noob's Choice. It's going to be crazy. Yes, yes. The year is coming to a close. We do have some games left. I'm Tobin Kozire. And I'm Yuzo Watanabe. This week we are talking about all the games you've been asking for on YouTube, even though Tobin so has said... shut your fucking <laughs> pie hole, bitch. Even though they said that. <laughs> um, yeah, so first up we have Donkey Kong Country Returns. <laughs> A lot of people ask for that. Yes. Sonic Colors. It's, yes. it's finally here. Uh, Epic Mickey. Yeah. And Splatterhouse. I don't think anybody was asking yeah, for that. And though. Mother 2. Mother 2. <laughs> <laughs> if we have time. If we have if we time. time. We'll and see. then Halo Reach. Yes. Halo Reach. We already reviewed year. Halo Reach. That's true. But people were asking us to go back and elaborate further. Play on the multiplayer more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, yes. yes. So uh, our new releases include Battlefield Bad Company Vietnam, which is just an expansion pack, and Super Mario All-Stars, which is a re-release of old games. Do you yes. notice a pattern here? December. Yes. I see I see December being the pattern where shit ain't being December released except is for... December is frigid and empty of, yes. of, of, of new games. Well, so. and actually, you know, what ends up happening is everyone's going to be playing Cataclysm, so... That's actually true. Yes. Probably including us. We will try out I Cataclysm try. over the break uh, and invite the noob tubers along, but... Let's get started Ooh, with Donkey Kong Country Returns, Mother What? Mm. So you had never played any of the Donkey Kong Countries back never. in the day, right? Never, ever, ever. Um, I love these games. Yeah. Uh, I love them because actually they reminded me a lot of Sonic in terms of... Uh, the old ones did. The old ones did, right. yes. Uh, of the old Sonic, just because like you know, you, you'd play a lot. But I'm, I'm curious as a, as a virgin to the uh, yeah. Donkey Kong Country Returns what you thought. Well, I mean, okay, so for one thing, there is absolutely nothing about this game that resembles Sonic. Like, absolutely nothing. So you don't you don't consider there's the extreme no speed, amount of there's speed. no speed at all in this game. You're talking about like in the minecarts in like you guys are so slow the, compared to Sonic. That is so <laughs> slow. So, the, <laughs> so the, the concept that I'm talking about is you're going really fast, and what you actually have to do is as you go through the level, remember to jump or not to jump in a lot of cases to either get all the Kong letters and all that. Yeah, and that's actually one of the core components of Sonic. But I feel like this is skill based. I feel like this is not memorization based. Really? Yeah. How is that true? But I mean, because like sometimes you have no chance whatsoever to get the K if you hit jump, and then you if have you to the die. K, yeah, that's true. Well, that's right? true. But, I mean, like, but that's all memorization. I don't know. I think there's. A, I think. I think there's a lot of skill in this game. I think that a I, there lot is. of it is very, there's very measured, and and uh, and it's it's less. I mean, I don't know. It didn't feel as spazzy. But I mean, so yeah. so here's the thing. So we got into Donkey Kong Country Returns. You told me all this stuff about it, whatever. Yep. So I sit down, I start playing it, and I tried both ways. I tried the uh, you can do um, the remote, the Wii sideways. Oh, I didn't even try that. Yeah. Uh, and you can do the Wii Mote and Nunchuck. Yeah. yeah. So which, one both. You, which one? I actually end up doing the Wii mode uh, and nunchuck. Yeah, better. me too. I, I, I didn't even that. Like the the sideways, it just seems like it. Do you have like how do you yeah, do the weft? Oh, yeah, fuck that. Yeah, I mean, which already kind of so so that's the thing. So yeah. we were playing, and uh, the first like half an hour I was playing the game, I was probably playing. Well, actually, you know what? There's there's different ways to play the game. But what I was doing was I was doing a lot of waggle, yeah. and I was getting annoyed. Well, you have to. I mean, like, the thing is, right in the beginning of the game, they're showing you, like, okay, push down and do waggle to blow the yep. dandelions. Do waggle on the blocks, and there's a ton of blocks. Yep. Um, waggle to bar- like you, you gotta waggle a lot in the first few levels. All over like, the place. Tons. And it's and it's not skill based waggle, right? No. It's not like it's not one of these things where you like doing waggle the right timing. No, it's like you walk two feet, blow on a dandelion, walk two feet, yep. bang on a thing, and, it's just- and you have to. Yeah. Well, in order to collect all the things, like the thing is, I wouldn't mind so much. Or at some point, I started like saying, "Forget it, I'm not going to do the waggle." That's what I did, and that made the game a lot more interesting. Exactly, to me, right? exactly. <laughs> like, like once once you come to peace with that, once yeah. you're like, you know what, I'm not going to get every puzzle piece in this level. I'm it's not right. going to do it. Yeah, I'm not going to get all the coins because yeah. that's all the co- like half the time. It's either a coin or a puzzle piece. Yep. And you don't need either of those to finish the game. Right now, if it was a Kong letter, I'd be a little annoyed because you got to get that shit. You got it, and dude, I figured out how to get that O. You did, it? yes. Fuck. So okay, so you're, first, that was a challenge. Really first level. So there's, <laughs> and this happens once or uh, once or twice other other times in the game. There will be a, an O or some other letter 
hanging in the middle of a bottomless pit. Like, yep. basically, you know, it's, it's one of these things where, <laughs> how do you get it? Well, so you were telling me, you're just like, oh, how do you get the, oh, I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. I'm just like, yeah. ooh, I got a challenge now. So I spent like 10 minutes trying to figure out this thing. How'd you do it? So, well, they teach you, they don't even teach you the move to do it until right. later. And I think yeah. that was the key where I was just messing around. And then you do the, you know, where you, where you roll into a ball and run. Yeah. So you do that. And then as you come out of the ball, you jump. So basically, you roll onto it and then you jump out. And I was just like, "Yes, fuck!" So I got the Kong for that. So that's funny because I'm, I've actually played through a whole bunch of the game, but yeah. I've never tried to like roll out over the yawning abyss of I died, nothing. I died like eighty times, right? <laughs> <laughs> trying to like I'm just jumping to so double you could jumping do something and just, like, I couldn't do. Yes, and rub you your face in it, pig fucker. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, that's that's you what it's about. Son of a bitch. Uh, but th- that's one of my complaints about this game. This game um, tutorial kind of sucks. It does. Uh, it doesn't really tell you, like, actually, it tells you kind of how to do everything kind of in the beginning, but it doesn't really reinforce it. No. Like, a lot of Nintendo games, one of the big things about it is they do pacing. Right. Like in Metroids, right? It's just like, okay, let me teach you something, then you'll use it. Teach you something, then you use it. Like right. Super Mario Galaxy. Like Super Mario Galaxy would have had one entire level where you did nothing but roll, and you figured out <laughs> yes. all the different ways to roll. And the Super yeah. Mario Galaxy, the next one would be like all about the, the little monkey on your back, you know, like yep. Donkey Kong Jr., be all these things. And, and they would kind of they would really make you understand each step of the way as opposed to this one. They're like, yeah, I guess you can blow on some shit and do some other stuff. Go. Yeah, whatever. And, and I mean, yeah. there's other parts. Like, I, these aren't spoilers. I'm just going to tell you guys because I don't think this is part of the game. I think this is their failure in explaining stuff. So there's no. a couple times there's like, you walk by and there'll be a big painted wall with a bullseye on it. Yep. And you go and you do the roll into it and you punch it and you do whatever. Nothing happens. If you throw a barrel into it, then you can knock That's down. That's what you do. That's what you do. <laughs> And you know, you know what uh, happened is I was actually I bitching. I those. Yes! I was like, what do I do with these? I, I was know. bitching about this on Facebook. And some dude was just like, yeah, you just throw a barrel at it, fucking noob. You know, I was just like, god damn it. But it's just like, you, you think, like somebody with Nintendo's caliber is yeah. just like, they notice these sorts of things. They're like, uh, guys, mm-hmm. like, uh, what is it? Like Retro Studios, like you guys should really, you know, put yeah. a couple more things. But like they weren't listening or something. Right. I don't know. So um, the game starts out. Tutorials aren't very good. It's kind of waggly. And I'm just like, like really uh, waggly, yeah. uh, okay. About 45 minutes to an hour in, I'd gotten to some of these levels where it's like there's one level where uh, the whole thing is black and the background is in color and it's all done in silhouette. And there's oh, a couple yeah, other ones was, yeah, where it's like, you know, you're on a mine card or yep. you're doing these other things. And like as I was playing, I'd be like, all right, I'm going to play one more level and then I'm going to make some dinner. Yeah. Playing. And I was just like, yeah. all right, well, okay, I'm going to do this. <laughs> I'm going to do this level and then this other level and then I'm going to make some dinner. Yeah. I look up and it's like, it's like 9.30. Yeah, I'm fucking starving. Yeah, I'm just like, yeah. all of a sudden, like, my brain, it, 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 somewhere along the way, I'm like, I fucking love this it's game. Too, like to me, it was two one. Oh really? Like really? Yeah. Like like I, I like the solo level. The like level. I finished the whole first level. I'm like, because you had talked to me about it before you you found your epiphany, yeah. right? And yeah. you're like, dude, this game is fucking waggly. I hate it. Yeah. Right? I, was, I was just I was like pissed at first. I'm just like, dude, what are you talking about? And I started yeah. playing, and I'm like, holy crap, you're right. Yeah. And then like I'm like, man, this is annoying. Mine's annoying. And then like I hit two one. And all of a sudden, like, I just figured it out. I'm like, yeah. holy shit. And, and everything I, I, I bet what it was, it was awesome. is when you started realizing, you're like, wait, I don't have to do every bullshit little thing. Yeah. Because that's, for me, I was like, it's all about, you know, trying to get all the letters yep. and find all the cool little secret rooms. Like, when you yep. find the secret rooms, you have to get all the coins and shit mm-hmm. in, the, in the amount of time. Like, all that stuff is super fun. Yeah. And those are hard. Very. Oh, oh my God. This game really is so hard. hard. So, like, you were telling me, like, how easy it was. And I'm like, how far did you get? Right? Yeah. And I'm just like, like, especially, like, starting at two is when they really nail you. Yeah. And this is another complaint I have about the game is that the, the save points are really spaced out. It, 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 um, is, it is straight up punishing. Yeah, so I think every level, as far as the ones I've seen, they only have one save point in the middle. Yeah. Uh, where I can checkpoint, right? One and most two. I've seen some You've seen two? two? Okay. Yeah. Um, so, like, I, I'm playing, and, like, seriously, like, right before the checkpoint, they're going to have some difficult thing yeah. which will kill you, and you will do it eight times. Yeah. And get really sick of doing the same shit over again. Yeah. Um, so, <sighs> Like, that's old school, man. That's just know, like that's I just know. like you are gonna do this entire sequence of platforming shit correctly. But doesn't that bother you? Because that's like the Mega Man style, right? Like, and I never no. Really... So here's the thing: is I think the What's Mega it? Man style is is intentionally punishing. Like, I think that it's like I think the Mega Man style is you know if you're running and you jump off this platform and then you jump up and a wall stops you, yeah. but the wall wasn't there when you jumped. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I think that it's kind of like. Die, 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 die. Like, you're dying to learn the lessons. Uh, Where, when I was playing through Donkey Kong, huh. as I got better at the game, I noticed that I was dying less and less. Huh. And there'll, there'll be parts where I'm like, I'm trying to get a letter, and I die, and I die. Yeah, well, die, those, those are the things where I see, right? Like also, But those like, are all where I'm like, I know I could do that better. 
You know what I mean? Like, you so know you, the next time through, you're not going to yeah. fuck that up. So you force you yourself to die so that you can go back and yeah. replay it sometimes, right? Sometimes. sometimes uh, I, okay, I can do But I, I never felt like it was being unfair, I guess, is the thing for me. It's like, when I play through Mega Man, a lot of times I'll be like, well, come on. Like, well, it, it's designed to be unfair, right? Yes. It's designed to be I, like, you have to die many times before yes. you figure out this level. Like, and this they did one, that on purpose. Yeah, this one is just like, you have to go through it multiple times to figure out the right path. They don't yeah. always force you to die, which I thought was... Somewhat aggravating because I'd be like, I see a K, but I'd still get to the end. And I'm like, <laughs> should I replay this level? And there's a button right there. Yeah, like, you just like, level, it's, like, like, it's like you got blank O N G. Yeah, replay. It's like, oh. it's like no. And then you could do, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but it's just like they have time trial modes. Like they really added a lot of modes mm. to think time trial mode. You can uh, get all, you know, you you can't actually. It's really hard to get all the puzzle pieces. I've oh, noticed, it's right? challenging. Like most shit. of my levels, I'm getting like two out of eight. Yeah. Right. Uh, but then what's cool is you get coins during the level. You can go to the shop. Yeah. You can buy a bird that helps you find them. I don't know if you saw uh, that. I did not notice that. So I, I haven't got enough to buy him yet, but <laughs> I'm really excited to. Yeah. Because like right, you can buy a bunch of different things, like more yeah, lives. But one of the key the to lock. get a thing, one of them's a bird that will help you find puzzle pieces. I have no idea if it's going to float around and find yeah, it or what. Or, I bet or it what. will. I bet it'll be like Professor Layton, where it's just like that's right. You know, like the, the, the little was uh, the dog or yeah, yeah. The, the thing where it's like look over here. Oh, it was the bird. <laughs> it was the parrot. That's right. The parrot is like Wah. yeah, <laughs> the robot parrot. <laughs> yeah. Coin. Yes. So I. And and there, uh, there, like the the thing that blew me away about this was that I kept noticing more and more subtle things. Like there'd be there'd be these crazy things where I'd be jumping on a platform and there'd be you know like this windmill that looks like it's part of the background. Yeah. And then you blow on the windmill and then this other platform comes up in the distance and then yep. you pound this other thing and a and a barrel comes up and you can jump into that and it shoots into the thing in the back. I mean, it's just like it's playing with with uh, parallax. It's playing yep. with popping you to front and back. Every level they'll introduce different clever play styles. Like yeah. it's not just running left to right. I yeah. mean, like there was this one where I was on the shore. A bunch yeah. of pirate boats were attacking me. Mm-hmm. So you go the cannon, shoot yourself out through the pirate boat, trash the pirate boat, shoot yourself to another pirate boat, yeah. climb up on the masts, go to another pirate boat. I was like, oh my god! Yeah. Like this is not just a side scroller. I mean, the, yeah. it, the, the level design is is. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, like, they did a, just top notch. The overall production level of this entire game is like top notch. Yeah, Nintendo quality, everything. Right. Yeah. And then what's awesome is like they didn't add a bunch of stupid cutscenes. Nope. Uh, there's a few, but not a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, and like you know, overall platforming. Every is Every cutscene is skippable. Every yes. single one. Which is really nice. Yep. Um, so yeah, I mean, overall, it's just like solid game. Um, I, I say up. buy this right now. Yeah. I am super super impressed. But it's really hard. It is hard as it's shit. Really really hard. Yes. Um, it's. I mean, it's actually one of the harder platforms I've played uh, recently that I've enjoyed. I mean, like I've played hard platformers where yeah. I'm like, like Mega Man. Yeah. Like. Stop fucking. You know, just like I've just <laughs> got like I've just got like a dick. Like you know, just kind of bruise on my face. Oh, yeah. It was like, wow, that's really fun. Thank- ah, <laughs> ah, ah, ah. But this one, you know, it, it was it was really fun. Well, yeah, I mean, we played like a lot of other platformers that, like, if you look at platformers these days, they don't get that punishing anymore, right? Like, you look no. at Limbo, you look at some other ones where like they put checkpoints everywhere, right? Yeah. Well, Limbo is hard as shit, though. <laughs> it was hard, but it wasn't like hard in such a way that you know what I it mean. Wasn't, it was yeah, like, it wasn't that you died. It was just like, how do I manipulate <laughs> time? But you're right. I mean, there's a lot yeah. of there's a lot of things where they'll take. Uh, uh, they'll take games, for example, you know, Uncharted, and yeah. they'll put in platforming elements. They're like, mm, well, yeah, but that's, they're not. That's A to B, right? Yeah. Like you're not, you know, that's not. It's not challenging. But it, it requires a level of dexterity, right? Yes. Even though, like if you look at Limbo and other ones, it's just like it's it's, it's your head, not yeah. your freaking fingers. And this one is a like, time. We jump, jump. Yeah. Ooh, but you know, you yeah. you, you got to be damn good. If you had a game. camera of me playing, there's just like so many times <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> and then of course a lot of times it's like. Fuck! Yeah. <laughs> yes. Seven balloons left. Try. Fuck! <laughs> well, fortunately, you get a lot of... Like, they do a good thing about... Like, Nintendo usually does. He, like, right where there's a really hard part of this level, they'll usually have a balloon, a balloon. floating around somewhere. Yeah. So. Oh, one thing I gotta say, though, that, that actually drove me crazy that I feel like was one of the biggest things missing from this game. Yeah. Double jump. They are, my brain is oh, so uh, but tuned. It's, but it's Donkey Kong Country. They never had double jump. So add it now! I want innovation. I'm just saying that, that, that my brain is so attuned to platformers yeah. that there were so many times where I'd just jump and I'd be like hitting the double jump in mid stride. And, you know, like, and, and even when you have the dude on your back, yeah. you, your double jump is like jump and then hover. You know, like you're never getting that extra little mm. oomph that you need to get to where yeah, you're going. Yeah, but the, the little extra hover is pretty nice though. Oh, it's great. Right? Yeah. Um, I'm, just, I'm, just, that's, I'm, I'm not saying that's a legitimate criticism. I'm just saying... As a platforming addict, I, I missed it all the time. Where I was just like, jump, jump, 
jump, jump. Yeah. But that's jump, funny jump. because you look at some of the other games, which are like harkening back to the classics. Yeah. Remember, like the, the the new Ghouls and Ghosts on PSP. Yeah. Where like you don't even get to control yourself in the air. Yeah, but that game fucking. Well, I'm just saying, sucked. I'm just <laughs> 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 fucking Ghouls and Ghosts. That is that is a game that saying. I would mention as like Ghouls and Ghosts, uh, 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 Kid Icarus. Yeah. You know, these other games were just just stupid, punishing, asinine, bad. But there's a certain beauty to to having yeah. a having sort of limitations. To t- no, you don't think so? Yeah. <laughs> it's like you want full control. I you do. Want the I do. I want, the, I want the control. I'll give you that. All right. So so yes, get it right now. Uh, so next up is Sonic Colors. Yeah. Which I I didn't get to play. I was so busy playing the other games this week, I didn't get a chance to do it. So it's all yes. you, buddy. Well, Sonic Colors, uh, a lot of people were telling me, like, I was worried, right? Yeah. I was just saying, like, this is yet another Sonic game. I tried Sonic Episode 4 against my better judgment, and it sucked. You've tried, like, 45 Sonic games so, in the last year. But, dude, like, this one, I'm just like, no, I'm not going to play it. Yeah. No. And then everybody on YouTube, everybody's just like, have you tried Sonic Colors yet? It's awesome. Have you tried it? Have you tried it? And I'm like, right. see all the reviews, like, nines and tens? I'm like, is it really getting nines and tens? Well, like high, no, I don't know what high scores. Yeah, like not like fucking fives, right? That's right. Usually <laughs> gets. <laughs> now he gets a expected. one, yeah. which is ridiculous. But right. um, yeah, no. So it's like Sonic Colors. I'm like, okay, I'll give this a try. And my god, like the first 20, 30 minutes, I was like, wow, this really? is exactly what I wanted. It's and this it, is we right? We only. Uh, it's we only. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, so my the understanding is like you know it's Sonic. Uh, he's got these little alien things now, which you can get access to. And then um, use special powers. And I actually didn't like that part that much. Special powers. So, like, one is you can turn into, like, a laser. And, the, again, okay. like, the control scheme is really weird. Where first you collect the alien, you have the power to turn into a laser. You waggle it. And then all of a sudden, like, somehow you, you change the direction of the waggle. And then yeah. you can hit various laser points and get to other parts of the zone. Mm. Another one's, like, a drill. So, like, uh, what, what's funny to me is, like, it feels to me like they took... Super Mario Galaxy, and they're like, how did we make this into a Sonic game? Really? Well, because they have the drill where you go through, you do, yeah. you know, like that kind of stuff. You have, uh, yeah, I mean, you have a bunch of these different things that you can do, uh, special, and not only that, you have different planets you go to. Oh. Nope. Right? There's just like, <laughs> there's a hub. Uh, and you have a brother dressed in green. <laughs> You're going after someone named Peach. Yeah. yeah. But, um, so it's just like, it felt really good. It, it kind of is in the line of, do you remember uh, Sonic Adventure on the Dreamcast? No. It was like a 3D uh, Sonic, yeah. so not like 2D. So, so let me let me let me just save you some time. Yeah. Do you remember Sonic <laughs> X? Yeah. And I go, no. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember Sonic Foo on the bar platform? Yes. No, I so do not. So let's consider a rhetorical question. Do you remember <laughs> right. Sonic Adventure? You, the do Royal you? you. <laughs> and they're like, why, yes, I do. Yeah, Since that's I right. played all of the Sonics. There's thousands of teenage Type boys in. out there just like responding yes on YouTube. Yes, I do, you <laughs> your beard <laughs> oh I gotta love it but yeah so, yeah. so, so like okay so, so Sonic um, Adventures or whatever it was like 3D where you're you know you're going down various things and okay. it's awesome it feels really good amazingly uh, fast and like it looks great for a Wii game it's okay. another one of those things where like they're really pushing the limits of the Wii architecture yeah. right it looks great but then I'm playing and then they do this thing where it's like 2D yeah. But you know how that's 3D, like kind of like how um, Super Mario Galaxy did it. Yeah, where you know you go into 2D mode. They have a lot of that. That's where you do the drilling stuff. So they okay. they kind of mix it up. But like after I started playing more and more, I was just like, wow, I've seen this stuff before. Wow, like okay, I remember either playing it in Sonic or some other game which Sonic is like copying from. Mm. Where I guess it's almost the sheer unoriginality of it started kind of like weighing on me. Right. Yeah. It's just like it's not a bad game right. at all. It doesn't suck and that's <laughs> and that's like for a sonic right, game that's right. actually the highest price right. you could give it right sonic it, <laughs> it it barely exceeded my expectations <laughs> 1. <laughs> 1. 1.1 stars <laughs> but yeah seriously it doesn't suck it's mildly engaging yes. like yeah so I you're saying, you're saying that, that you felt like, like they they didn't bring enough innovation to the party like it just kind of felt like uh some some reused ideas well yeah i mean well it feels like they took the core of the original like sonic adventure yeah. of 3ds because it really feels like that in a lot of ways mm-hmm. they added a couple of innovations where they you know remember the lock on yeah where you fly like you played one of the sonics where you like you, you like look at something you lock on and you kind of jump to it yeah, and you, yeah, like, yeah. so they added that which was never that much fun okay um and then they added kind of all these super mario galaxy-esque 2d things mm. right so i'm just like if I haven't felt anything original and like I'm playing this and then right after I'm playing Donkey Kong uh, Country Returns that yeah it's just the level of polish and quality I'm just, yeah. it's just stark right it's just like eh yeah you know this that, is triple A this is A minus B plus it's hilarious that point is going to come up on the next game as well like the, the problem is, is yeah having 
when when we're playing these games in a week, like you can't help but compare the games that you're playing to the other games yep. that you're playing, right? So yeah. so you have these these games arrayed upon your game station. Yeah. You're just like, well, I can play some more Sonic Colors, or I can yeah. go back and beat another level in Donkey Kong Country. And guess what? I'm gonna prefer to do, or right. rather, actually look at Sonic and say, man, why are you making me do this? Yeah, right. When I'd much rather be playing this. So it's right. it's sad, but the thing is, at the same time, like you, all the people watching the shows, they own a Wii. They have a choice between three different Wii games. Right. They're going to run into the same problem, right? Yeah. So, so, like, were, so were there any parts that you act like? Were there any elements that you actively didn't like, or was it? All oh, this I kind hate. Of... Oh, so the fucking cutscenes. Oh, so this game has probably some of the worst cutscenes I've ever seen. Really, the writing is terrible. The voice acting is god awful. Yeah, like at some point I was watching it, and I was just like gagging, and then like <laughs> I, I would skip every one, and it made the game infinitely better. Yeah, so unfortunately, you can't skip every single one, which is really yeah. nice. But it's like I just don't understand, like. Eggman is the worst evil villain in the history of video games. He's right. so uninteresting. He's this guy. He doesn't have any character whatsoever. He messes with robots. And, and basically Sonic is like, well, whatever the fuck he's doing, we got to do something against him. Yeah. He, that's a line. That's really? a line in the thing. He's just I like, don't know what he's doing. He's just like, but, but he's up to no good. And that's what our job is to do, <laughs> uh, Tails. And I'm like... Seriously? That's your sole existence? Do you have a yeah, life, it Sonic? Like Sonic's kind of a bully, actually. Like, yeah, he's like kind of a dick. Over here, He's like doing a little science project. He's like, I just hope that they leave me alone. This ah! They're like, whatever you're doing, we hate you, fucker. So, like, the, egg, the whole idea of the story is Eggman has created this amazing resort, and then they're there taking advantage of the resort. Like, wow, this is just pretty cool. Like, Eggman's created this awesome resort. They're like, let's fuck it up. Yeah. <laughs> but it's probably up to no good, so we should do it because that's what we always do, Tails. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I, f- I feel sorry for Dr. Eggman. That's awesome. That's just like that's just like teenage kids in a mall. They're like, that's a cool plate glass window. Let's fucking smash it. Yeah, Sonic's kind of a dick. Sonic's a dick. He's kind of a dick. That's terrible. So, and like, fucking Tails is like this really annoying psychic. It's like, whatever, Sonic, Sonic whatever we'll do. Yeah, let's do it. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Break some shit. That's I'm totally high on four loco. They <laughs> <laughs> go crazy. <laughs> so, so that's the thing. It's just okay. like the, the characterization of all that is just terrible. Yeah. Um, platform, again, it doesn't suck for a Sonic game. Right. Pretty good. Yeah. Compared to these other games, not so good. So, so I'm gonna have to just. I'm saying rent. Actually, right, no, it's a thumbs up rental. I mean, because okay. it's not bad. Right. Right. It's just wait to play Donkey Kong Country first and play Super Mario Galaxy. Play a bunch of other games before I play this game. Yeah. Uh, but it's not bad for a Sonic game. <laughs> <laughs> that was the sad. That was like know, the saddest I know. review. Uh, so actually, it's better than your normal reviews of Sonic, which is like I was forced <laughs> at gunpoint to play this terrible game. And, you know, like I, know. I thought that it'd be better, and then it still beat me up and yeah, told me the dinner was in cold. The <laughs> yeah. Crying in the corner. You're in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so fuck yes. it. So, uh, so epic Mickey. Epic Mickey. Um, epic Mickey. Dude, I wanted to love this game so much. We played it at PAX. It was it wasn't it good? It was. Um, first thirty minutes of it, I love this game. Mm. So um, mm. you did. You okay, did like so much, huh? Epic Mickey. So, <laughs> god damn it! So th- there there are some things in this game. So you you had told me like you played Epic Mickey before me, and you're like, I don't know, it's getting kind of repetitive. I don't know. I was like, well, ah. f- well first, no, no, no. First thing I tweeted like, dude, you gotta play Epic Mickey. That's it's right, awesome. Right. Like, it's yeah. like an hour. Yeah. And then about, what was it, three or four hours later, I was just yeah. like, hmm, this is getting a little repetitive. Yeah. So you were telling me that it was repetitive. I'm like, oh, okay, it's going to be repetitive. But I'm, I'm, I'm big into platforming games, big into action adventure. Repetitive is nothing for me. Like, I'm like, I, I fucking, repetitive, <laughs> sure. if it's got a good story. Like, whatever. I don't give a <laughs> shit. Fable was repetitive, and I fucking yeah, love that game. That's so true. screw it. So I'm playing, and I was just like, Yuzo, you son of a bitch. Like, you said repetitive. <laughs> you didn't say worst camera since Ninja Bread Man. Like oh, I wouldn't go that worst far. Worst camera. It is it seriously. Go that. It is Ninja seriously. Man was no. Ridiculous. It is like this game should not have shipped the camera so bad. Really? Yes. Yes. Like I, I, I had problems with the camera. I would be, I would be going, to, you know, I'd be going to walk, and and I would know that there are these gears up here that yeah. I'd have to spray uh, yep. paint thinner on. And he'd walk up to the edge, and he would just look down at the slime. I was like, that's kind of weird. And I would like hold the like, you, it's not even like on the Xbox where you can just very easily do the 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 stick. You don't get just, full control over it. No, no. You're, you're like sitting there, like, okay, well, I'm I'm already playing the game like this. Suddenly, reach up to the X pad and pull his point of view back up to where it's supposed to be and then I spray some of the paint thinner well, the first and then it like drifts back down you the, again. You gotta do the first person mode. You shouldn't have to! Oh, well. <laughs> I mean, yes. I mean, that helped that. a lot for you me in those, that, yeah. in those situations where like, like you were talking about a lot of bad camera stuff where like yeah. a couple of times I died because of it. That pissed me off but it wasn't 
Like that was it. That was the only few times that, oh, that happened. Oh, so God, how many no. did you die a lot? <laughs> it, it, it wasn't. The, it wasn't the dying a lot. It was. It was as if the entire thing was a wrestling match between me and the game. Like I'd be running, and the camera would be about three inches off the back of Mickey's head, yeah. and be going around, and they'd be like, "Get to the top of this building." I was like, "Okay," and I turn, and there's like <laughs> the back of Mickey's head on a wall, and over here the back, and like huh. I walk over here. I'm like, oh, well, let me jump over here to, to try and figure out what's going on. And like way down here, there's these cars going around on a ride. Mm-hmm. You have to jump down. Yeah, yeah. And you'd walk up, and the camera would just be pointing straight up. And, and you'd like wrestle the camera down <laughs> to look where you're supposed to jump. And you'd go to jump, and the camera's too close to you, and you miss the card, whatever. I'm like, I was playing through this. I'm like, huh. I know for a fact that I am really good at platformers. Like, I am you're... good at platformers. I was playing. I was just like, the whole time, I was like, just fucking <laughs> do what I want you to do. Like, stop fighting me all the time. Huh. So, I, I, so that, okay. So that that's my biggest complaint. Well, okay. So I would say it's it's like a valid complaint, definitely. Yes. Um, but it's not my biggest complaint. There's more. Oh, there's a lot more to there's this game. There's more. So before we go crazy huge into the negative, like this game looks freaking amazing for a Wii game, mm-hmm. right? Like the production design, like I, seriously, like the first half hour, or first hour, I was telling you, dude, you gotta play this game. It's awesome. Yes. Like I was in love. I was just like, wow, this world is awesome. There's yep. so many set pieces that go on. Yep. Like right, this big robot that's going crazy, and then you yep. go here. But then after a while, you know, I started playing. It's just like, wow, I'm doing kind of the same shit over and over and, and over again. the set again. pieces were not strong all the way through. The set no. pieces turned fucking weak. Yeah, it's just like, fix the fucking Dumbo ride. It's like, yeah. okay. Or just go and they're like, do you want to go to, to this world? And you're like, okay, it's a couple boats on a river. You want to go this world? Yeah, it's a couple more boats on a river. You know, yeah. You want to go outside? And you're like, okay. Well, it's pretty much every ride in Disneyland is a yeah. boat on a river for yeah. the most part. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just every level I'd get to, I'm just like, well... You know, it's very colorful. Like, you guys threw a bunch of, like, there's slime down here, and there's a couple boring bullshit enemies that are not fun to fight. Well, you, like, like they give you a choice. Yeah. You could either use thinner on them, make them go away. Yeah. Or use uh, paint on them to make them your friend. Right. Like, I... Like, I understand, like, okay, Mickey, you're Ward Inspector, I'm going to make choice part of my game, but, like, right. I never felt like choice mattered no. at all in the game. And the only time that it matters, so there's this thing where if you use enough of the paint or enough of the thinner, uh, you fill up a bar, yep. and then what will happen is that you get this little dude that's following around, you can use him to fight people, you can use him to show you the way I never where you're supposed to be going. Yeah. But here's the funny thing yeah. is, most of the time, what would happen is you're using paint everywhere, paint everywhere, and then you come up to a puzzle where the only thing you can do yep. is thinner. Yep. So you use thinner, all the paint stuff that you <laughs> that you've achieved goes away. You're just like, huh, well, you're a dick. Like, you should have had a paint bar and a thinner bar, right? Yeah. Like, it shouldn't be either or. It should be you're earning points yeah. towards both because you're forcing me to give up my achievements. But see, I bet you there, there's probably two ways to do every puzzle. Maybe. Probably. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, maybe. maybe. Right? But it's just like, right, like that, I mean, that's my understanding. Yeah. Anyway. So you're supposed to be able to solve everything with paint or thinner, right? right? But, like, seriously, like, I see something in my way. Mm, thinner. It's just yeah. like, that's what you're going to do. Or it'd be like, there's, you know, a bridge you need to draw between two islands, and I'm, like, building up shit on thinner. I was like, well, now i got to use paint. You yeah. Know? <laughs> and, and the other thing is, is the, the thing that this just drove me crazy is, like, so there'd be, like, three enemies that you're fighting. Like, yeah. I'm going to try being the good guy. Instead of yeah. just being a fucking cock and paint yeah. thinnering everybody, I'm like, let me see what it's like to play the good guy. So I put paint on one guy, and he's like, oh, I'm your friend. Yeah. So you go over, and you start trying to paint the second enemy. The dude that's your yeah, friend is now fighting. punching him, <laughs> punching the paint off of him. So I'm shooting the paint, and he'd be like, I'd almost have him. The guy's like, clock. Yeah. He's like, the paint goes off, and he's like, only half painted. I'm painting him again, and the guy's like, <laughs> just fucking whooping up on him. I was just like, well, wow, you're the worst friend ever. Well, you could have just let him beat him up, and then he goes away. Yeah. But again, like, right, it doesn't matter. It it's doesn't just like, matter. they're nuisances in the game, yeah. right? Like, any enemy that's there is just like, oh, they'll hit you and yeah. lose some of your health. And then eventually I just started, like, running past him, like, four enemies. I'm like, Pfft. yeah. Fuck you guys. I'll just go running off the other way. Yeah, and, like, honestly, like, my seriously big complaint besides the repetitiveness is that the platforming kind of sucks. Right? Like, like okay. You realize granted. that we've now covered everything in the game <laughs> except the story, right? Where it's just <laughs> like. Basically, everything <laughs> blows. Basically, but like the platforming, it's so floaty, right? Yeah. It's just like you're jumping like half the time, and maybe part of it was the camera, but like I would jump and I'd miss. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Because I couldn't judge. It's like it's just not sharp, like yeah. with Donkey Kong Country or any of these other ones. It's just like you jump, you know exactly where you're going to land. Exactly, and that's the thing with platformers <sighs> is you have to have that complete control where there'd be there'd be some box or ball or whatever need to jump on top of, and I'd jump and I would hit it. And instead yeah. of just like standing still, like you'd see the character model just kind of like slide yeah. off or something. Yeah. Like <laughs> you don't do that in a platforming <laughs> game. You don't land on something and then just kind of like you're like whoa, and you overcorrect and then fall off. Yeah, like that happened to me twice. Yeah, like, yet again, which is which is that same thing where I just told you like the whole time huh. a good platformer 
you don't even notice the control in your hand. It's you watching the screen, which is what I felt in Donkey Kong Country Returns, yeah. where it's just like my my personality is driving the character on the screen, and yeah. your your hands are gone. They're not even there. Yeah. And then in this, just the whole time, I was just like, well, I know where I want to go, but <laughs> you don't let me do want to let me. And it's like, I'm going to reach through there and take fucking Disney's frozen head and smash it against the wall, <laughs> make Mickey cry. I... <sighs> It's, it's unfortunate because yeah. you know, like you know how much money they spent on this yes. game. You know how many people they put on yes. this game. Uh, you know they got Warren Spector, who's like seriously like one of the you know most respected game designers, right? Like, yeah. So here's or the is thing. one. So here's them. the thing. So what? I went on Wikipedia. Yeah. Because everyone's like Warren Spector. It's, oh, it's I mean, pretty much fucking, KSX, uh, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Everyone's like weird. Warren Spector, and it's like, why do we even know his name? Like, there's game designers. Like, who's the guy that designed Assassin's Creed Two? Who's the guy? Well, it's not just that, one guy. That's the but thing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, yeah. But, but but this guy, like, I was looking through his game list. I'm like, eh, eh it's yeah. all right. You know, you did Deus <laughs> Ex. You did a couple of things. Like, and there's a lot of games where I liked the second one, and he did the first one. Like, I, <laughs> we I just set it up, obviously. Yeah, right? yeah. It, and, and it was it, there was a couple. Like, he did System Shock, but he didn't do System Shock Two. He did a System couple. System Shock was good, but was, not was, as good as Two. Exactly. Like, no I'm just saying. Yeah. Whatever the guy's good, <laughs> yeah. but um, I wouldn't say that you know he's like this this non. Wait, he did the Underworld too, right? Ultimate Underworld, I think. Yeah, I think he did. Yeah, see that Underworld. that like once I saw that, I'm like, oh, okay, maybe mad props, right. but like, yeah. I, but th- that was also 15 years ago where <laughs> things have changed, right? Like the it, world has yeah. come a long way. Is he's not involved with DSX three? Is he? No. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Like a lot of these things, he's it's not probably going to be with. awesome. <laughs> yeah. So my, my thing is, huh. when, I, when I was playing through this, and I realized, like, one thing that I really realized when I was playing through it, I was like, if you and I were playing this game, yep. and it was not Disney-themed, like, mm, if this was... just some random? Yeah. Oh, we would fucking... We uh, would have shat on it. I would have been playing oh, yeah. through it. I'm like, what is, would this cost 10 bucks to make? <laughs> what is this bullshit? Like, if we hadn't had these expectations yeah. going in, I was being very forgiving. Yeah. Because I was just like, well... It's not, it's, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's Mickey Mouse. It looks really good. It looks really good. <laughs> it looks I like, really good. I, like the, I love Disney. I like all these things. Yeah, I remember there. writing those teacups. Exactly. Like that's kind of like it's nostalgia, but it's yeah. like it does not save this fucking game at the all. The truth of the matter is, this is not a good game. <clears throat> no, and it, it pains me to say it because we were very, very excited for it. Yeah, uh, but it's bad. Boop. Don't even rent it. Honestly, don't. To God. E- yeah, it's. Yeah, Seriously. and it's too bad too because like you know like what's what's bothering me is like if you look at Disney Interactive, yeah, like the CEO is they kicked him out. Really? Yeah. So like Disney Interactive has not been doing well. Mm. So you think of all the properties they have and how many games they could eventually yeah. make that could be good. Yeah. Like, it kind of makes me scared. Right? Yeah, I mean that's the thing is like Disney owns uh, Pixar and yep. you know Pixar makes all these great movies but then they make games oh, the based games on those aren't movies. Very good. They're not very good. So, I mean yeah. Disney Interactive as a thing, you know they. They're they're just taking all of their movie franchises. They're yeah. not kind of making original games. They're just, they're well, they, just but that's the thing. They tried like like this is what scares me is that okay Disney says okay we're gonna bankroll Warren Spector we're gonna get his mm. whole team we're gonna pay like a couple hundred million or whatever mm. to build this game yeah and it's gonna tank yeah I'm telling you right now this game's gonna tank yeah they're not they're gonna get burned and they're gonna yeah. say well fuck psh, yeah. Toy Story three sold bazillion copies and it sucked yeah we're gonna make more of those well maybe right? they shouldn't be making games. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you I know, guess. Like, I'm just saying, like the the in my opinion, the Kingdom Hearts games have been getting worse. Yeah, that's Square. Yeah, you know, I mean, yeah. Uh, but I mean, it's Square Enix with Disney franchises, right? Yeah, they're, no, they're that's basically, true. I, I just I I don't know. I'm not convinced that we need to make these things into games. Yeah, but I mean, look at it, like Warner Brothers. They yeah. make uh, Arkham Asylum. Like they did an amazing job with they that, did. right? They did. That's so. Like I'm, that's I want to reward these these studios who yeah. like seriously they are taking a risk. Yeah. bankrolling games and for the most part movie games suck. So it's yeah. just like I, I want to see. Like that's a, that's a, good a good point. Tron I mean, game, Batman: right? Arkham or... Asylum was was a very impressive thing. Like, which I isn't based on any movie at all. Actually. No, <laughs> fuck no. They're just like this is just Batman. Yeah. But, I mean, you know, this Mickey stuff wasn't based on a movie. They just took yeah, the true. franchise and ran with it. So anyway, that is very sad. <laughs> yeah. But go play Donkey Kong because <laughs> it's really good. I know, dude. We have three Wii games. It's yeah. been such a long time since yeah. we actually had such a huge Wii coverage. You're such a fanboy. I know. Why don't you talk about something that came out on the PS3 this week? Fucking fanboy. Well, dude. I would, I would, but you know, you're the only one who played it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sad to say. All right. Sad to say. Yeah. So, uh, so last up, uh, the last game we played this week was Spotter House. Oh. We, we being the Royal We. The Royal We. Uh, so I played Spotter House. This game sucks my ass. <laughs> this game's <laughs> fucking terrible. <laughs> so terrible. It's a side-scrolling beat 'em up, right? Uh, no, it's not side-scrolling. So it's oh. it's actually it's actually 3D. Oh, it is 3D. Okay. Yeah. So. Cool. 
Uh, what I would say is imagine a a really gory 99 Nights. Like, <laughs> horror, 99 Nights horror, right? Really? So, I mean, the whole thing is huh. somebody kills your girlfriend, and then this yeah. demon mask is like, I'll bring you back to life, and you can go save her. He's like, okay. Wait, save her after being killed? <laughs> yeah, because he brings you back to life, right? Like, you're dead. Oh, no, I'm going to save her. No, wait, yet, yeah, wait. No, yes. Maybe oh, they, she's like maybe captured they or something. Her. Yeah, yeah, they okay. killed you. Oh, okay. You're laying there in a pile of your own fucking oh, yeah, stick. Yeah, yeah. It's like, the same oh, sort of story as the original yeah, one. Yeah. So he comes back to life, and the whole thing is you're just like punching dude, blood everywhere. I mean, yeah. there's like there's like finishing moves that take three ten seconds to watch. So it's just like every time you walk up near and they're flashing red, and you hit the thing, you're just like, oh, rip off their head, and you're like yeah. fucking the <laughs> neck hole and like ripping its heart out. You like cook it up and feed it to them. <laughs> so that's only fun once, basically. Yes. Yeah. And and then you know the rest of it is just basically dudes beating on you. A lot of the moves are unblockable. Yep. A lot of them is just kind of spazzy. So what happens is your life goes down really quick. Yep. You can hold the trigger and press B. And you suck the life out of everybody around you. Life goes back up, and then you go back to slamming the buttons. You're hammering on people, whatever. Okay. And then your life goes down. And you hold the trigger, and life goes back up. You suck the blood out of everybody. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um. And there's you know there's special moves, and then there's you know you get more points, and you can level up your moves, whatever. So the whole Sounds thing is fun. just button mashy, uh, just. Very poorly made. I, I, is the gore good at least? I mean, it's gory. Wise? I mean, it's just one of these things where yeah. you just hit dudes. So you're in generic mansion room after generic mansion uh, room okay. after generic mansion room. Like bloody dudes are coming out. Yeah. And I mean, just you know, every time you hit dudes, there's like the walls are splattering. There's puddles mm. of it. There's pools. Whatever. I mean, it's it's not like so, some of the reviews I were seeing. There, people were like, "Oh, it's the goriest game I've ever played." I'm like, "So? <laughs> like, <laughs> that wasn't a plus for you." Yeah, I mean, it's you know. So, so what? Like, I could go watch, you know, a gory YouTube video, but... Well, the thing, what's weird is, like, so I remember playing fun. the original Splatterhouse, like, in arcades, right? Yeah. Like, this was seriously a gory game for its time, where I was a little kid, and this was in Japan, where I don't yeah. even know if it came, it probably came here, but whatever, so I was playing it, I, I was, think it came here. I was like, this is kind of scary. Yeah. Like, right, there's, like, gore and stuff like that, I was, you know, small, but it's just like... I guess they're trying to keep that sort of thing. Well, but the game itself is really basic. Right? Well, that's the thing. I mean, I'm, I mean, sh- you and I are old enough now that we've been so tainted by the internet yeah. that this game could be anything. <laughs> and I'd be like, yeah, it's kind of gory. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I mean, it's just like I've seen dudes inflating their ball sack with saline, right? Oh, like I've yeah. seen, I've seen things you people wouldn't <laughs> believe. I've seen attack ships on fire off the shoulder of Orion. So. Uh. It's impossible to shock me, right? You're yeah, not gonna, yeah. you're not gonna shock me with these games. So I'm just now, I'm just evaluating it for gameplay mechanics. And it's just, pfft, shit. Yeah, I don't care about watching gore. I want yeah. to have fun, and this game is not it. It's just, it's just button mashy bullshit. Yeah, well, it's too bad because I, I kind of want to like that. That sort of franchise could have been done well. Yeah. Right. If you turn it to 3D, you do a really good job. Maybe like, you made the humor. combat. <sighs> Splatterhouse was. It was more serious. Yes, very serious. Okay. Um, yeah, like you had something to it, right? You can do something with some of these old franchises, something. but. Like, they didn't, I don't know, they did an okay job with Castlevania, right? With 3D. Yeah. It was okay. okay. It was but, okay. like, you can kind of do something, but oh well. Yeah. Uh, so, cool. not good. Um, so, this was kind of the last gasp, right? This is the last list, last group <sighs> of games. Uh, yeah. Disappointment, man. Epic Mickey, that's that's now a contender for our disappointment of the year. Oh, like, it's up there, actually. It's up yeah. There. It's and up if there. if we do, like, a disappointment of the year that has more than one game on it like I don't know how we're going to do our list but uh, yeah disappointment I think is one game I think it's one but yeah, typically, I have so. several games this year that disappointed me so oh, it's going to be tough you're going to have to pick one it's going to be tough um, um, but yeah. yeah Epic Mickey this was the biggest surprise for me this week I, I was think. hoping it would make my list because yeah, I mean I, I saw I'd, I thought I'd love it at least for the Wii list right? we usually pick three Wii games yeah. um, and uh, I know Terrible. what isn't going to make the list. Yeah. I know what is. Yes. Um, uh, so next up, new releases. So there's dude, just there ain't a Jack coming out. Nothing. Seriously. Nothing. And like, we're looking too because we're just like, well, what can we play over the Christmas break? Like yeah. you and I have, like, we're gonna have three weeks uh, of not of not seeing each other yeah. and not recording. And we're just like, okay, yeah, we can get into it. We can we can try some uh, World of Warcraft Cataclysm, and we yep. can um, chirp chirp. Uh, Ilo Milo, we will try. Ilo Milo, yeah. Bejeweled, Ilo Milo, yeah. yeah uh, Bejeweled three, I need to play. Yeah. That's kind of it. And yeah. we're looking, I was looking into January, and yeah, we have Ghost Trick, we have uh, oh, Dead Space 2, that's going to be Dead the Space end of January, that's yeah. like freaking two months from now. Yeah, so we, we're um, looking at like six weeks with no good games, which is rough. So, yeah, we're going to go back, yeah. back in time to some of the other games that we kind of missed. Like, I, I really need to play Need for Speed, some, some of you guys were asking for it, yeah, what was I'm the, excited what's about the, that What's one. the horror game where you can't hurt people, Amnesiac? Oh, uh, 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 Amnesia, Arsenic. no, Amnesia, Amnesia something. The Dark Descent? Yes. Maybe it's Amnesia. Uh, like well, I want to record like 
us recording playing one it. Of us playing yeah, it. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So. Scary. So, so, I mean, we know you guys have recommended some games, so we're going to try and dig through some of those. Uh, 999 is a DS game. Oh, a bunch of people have been asking bunch for that. A bunch of people have recommended uh, that. Like portable, like, actually, for the trip, uh, to, I'm going back east uh, yeah. over the weekend, or over the uh, break. So yeah. I already have, like, God of War PSP on mm. there. Uh, I kind of want to play Final Fantasy for Children of Light. Not really, though. Yeah. Kind of. You want me to just write your review for you right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too much text. <laughs> Too chatty. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Shut uh, up. Oh, uh, Mario vs. Uh, Donkey Kong Minis. That I want to play. I, I do want to try I want to try that. Uh, yeah. That actually looks very interesting. Yeah, so a bunch of games. So actually, in the comments, uh, if there's a big game that you guys would want us to review yes. when we come back in January yeah. that we missed, uh, there ain't shit to play. Like, so let us yeah, know. Yeah, so tell us what we should be playing through December. Uh, if yep. we missed anything, don't say mother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to torture you guys. We're I know. never going to play I kind of want to try it. it. Just, no? no? Go ahead. No. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sure it's awesome. I'm, I bet it is. I bet it was. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. We don't, yeah, it's, it's old. So, uh, <laughs> uh, new releases. Battlefield Bad Company. Vietnam is an expansion pack to, to Battlefield, Battlefield Bad Company. Two. Two. Uh, so I didn't like Battlefield Bad Company 2 that much. Uh, the multi- the single player was okay, yeah. uh, but the multiplayer was definitely more team based. Right. Um, so I didn't like I didn't have a good crew to to play with. So it was really bad. Yeah. Uh, people that actually had good crews, they liked it. But this is an expansion pack, a bunch of new maps. Yeah. Um, I don't have the copy anymore, so I probably won't get it. Yeah. So I mean, if you guys uh, are still playing Battlefield Bad Company 2, you might want to check this out. Yeah. But, <coughs> blah. But we probably won't. Yep. Uh, so next up is Super Mario All Stars, which I was just like, "Oh, new Mario game." No. No. Repackaging of Super Mario Brothers. Yep. Super Mario Brothers: The Lost Levels. Yep. Super Mario Brothers Two yep. and Super Mario Brothers Three, which are all fantastic games. Yeah, but if I wanted to play them, I'd probably have already bought them on Virtual Console. Exactly. For example, I could have bought them in about seven different ways, yeah. right? I mean, like they're you know, like you could have an old Nintendo version. You could have you know all these repackaged ones. They resold all these on the Wii. Yep. Do they have them? Do they have them on the DS at all? Probably. I don't Probably, know. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, I know they did that with all the Final Fantasies. I don't know if they did that with Mario Brothers. Yeah, no. I don't know if they've done that. Um, but the point is, is these are fine games, but it's not like they've been unavailable to the public, right? Like, yeah. I, I don't care all that much about the, the first three Mario games. Yeah, I mean, if you're packaging them up together for a nostalgia package and you never had it, go check it out, but... Yeah. Eh. I still, I still just remember playing the levels in Super Mario Brothers two with, like, the cactuses in the desert as Princess Peach, yep. where you play the different guys. It's just like, I spent... 100 hours of my life on that game. It's a good game, but it's yeah. hard as shit. The 2 was especially... You know the story behind 2, right? 2 was like another game entirely. Oh, I did hear about that. Yeah, yeah, Different sprites are like, uh, we need... Like, Super Mario Brothers was awesome in the yeah. States, and we need to put something out. Right. <laughs> so they just swapped the sprites. Just put them in. Like, whatever. Beep. Yeah, they'll never um, notice. And, but have you tried the Lost Levels? No, I haven't. So, so this was the game that they released uh, in Japan only. As Mario 2. Uh, no, I think it was like... I don't remember, actually. I don't know. I think it maybe it's disc only, something wacky. Yeah. But essentially, uh, it's the same sprites and all that, but ten times as hard. Wow. So, um, yeah. Okay. I don't know if you want to play that. I don't, probably. <laughs> so, that is it for new releases. We're sorry. Sorry. Um, so, Noob's Choice. Yeah. So, uh, like we mentioned in the intro, we have two big Noob's Choice episodes, which we'll be splitting up yes. uh, over the next two episodes. And then the Noob's Choice for you guys uh, will be at the end. Yeah. So, this ends. This ends uh, uh, December 14th. So, if you yeah. guys are watching this video right now. You have like one day. It, you have one day. So, so, if you look down here, there's an episode description. Uh, right, right down here below us. If there's an episode description and under the noob's choice, I'm putting a link. If you click on that link, that's the voting section, yep. and you get to vote for all your games of the year. Uh, and then uh, two weeks from now, you and I are going to record an episode where we where we release all of your choices for the year, and we're going to tell you you know how the voting came out and what we think of your choices. Yes. So we're still working on all the details, but uh, right now, like seriously, like pause the video, just click, click on the link yeah. in a new tab, come new back. Tab. Go look through those games while you listen to the dulcet tones of our voices. Yes, because all we're going to do is talking about our yeah. voicemails, because each week we'd like to feature new tube army on the show. Please send your videos with questions, stories, or whatever. You can contact us toll-free. Nice right? That was a nice <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, you can contact us toll-free at 888-233-8480. Send your files to feedback at noobtube.com. Also, be sure to post them as video responses on YouTube. Yes, keep all the videos under a minute if you want to be featured on the show. And don't forget the yow, or Envious's mom will give you the hivy. <laughs> the hivy and the clap and something else. <laughs> like, what's with the videos? We haven't had a good video in a while. That's true. So That's true. Um, hopefully you guys listened to last week's episode yes. and uh, sent in a bunch of Christmas stuff, although we won't be able to play it for three weeks. 
Yeah. Well, I can figure something, something at the end of the best of episode. Oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah. So, so please, uh, like we said last week, take some videos of your Christmas celebrations, whatever country you live in. Uh, it'd be very interesting to see different parts yes. of the world or even parts of the U.S. We love you guys, too. Check Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Um, okay, so first hmm. up is a, a game announcement. Hmm. Somewhere. There we go. Miss Explosion Man 2011. Yow. Short and sweet. Love it. Yes. So I went and I looked. Uh, yep. There is a video. It has no gameplay. It's just an announcement. It's just kind of like, beep, 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 beep. you know, yep. Miss Explosion Man. She looks like Miss, Mr. Explosion Man. With boobs. With boobs. There are boobs there. Fiery, fiery breasts <laughs> that explode. Yes. Uh, so um, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm pumped as hell. I like this Explosion Man. I hope they fix the co-op. Yeah, uh, co-op for Explosion Man sucked. It was terrible. It was, it was really awful. bad. Um, and I really hope they learned some things from uh, Comic Jumper. Uh, uh, we really didn't like Comic Jumper. Yeah, I, I um, hope that they just throw away everything that they attempted with Comic <laughs> Jumper and go back to Explosion Man, which I think if you go back and look at a review besides the co-op, I had no complaints. Like yeah, it was really it was, well done. It was, it was just perfect timing. It was well done all the way through. You know, very humorous, great music. All that. I mean, just a phenomenal top-notch game. So yeah. I hope the second one, they go back to their roots. Go back. Yeah. Don't try to do a lot of like random interstitials because they weren't good in comic jump. Like That would be bad, right? If they put all these cutscenes in yeah. it, stuff like Don't do it, please. No, just go to straight-up puzzling that you guys are really, really good at. And uh, Donut Song sequel, please. Yes, that's right. The second Donut Song. Uh, <laughs> so next up is uh, APB. We have some info on what? that. It's back. What? Hey, uh, uh, NoobTube, you know how you uh, wanted to play APB, didn't never got a chance? Well, you're not quite off the hook yet. Uh, APB, the rights to it has just been bought by Gamers First, a free game company, and then sometime early 2011, they were released it again as a free game. So, really hope you try it, I'll try it when it's free. Uh, yow. Wow! That was a bad financial decision. <laughs> Why did you buy that game? It must have been so cheap that they, you know what I mean? Like yeah. seriously, like it had to be like maybe well, a like, thousand bucks or something. Well, maybe they bought a Big Mac and it yeah. was in the back. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, whoa, free APB inside. Well, what's up with this? Maybe they pulled off the Monopoly piece. Yeah, it's just, just like, like huh. APB. Go do to we, this link to download APB. Do we have to take this? I, I guess <laughs> we'll do I, something with it. Can yeah. I have money instead? Like uh, the thing is, you look at all the MMOs that are that are that are out now. They've basically given up trying to fight WoW. They said we 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 give up. Yeah, except so, for Eve Online. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, so very like yeah, a couple of ones are still in, but everybody's they got following the, the, the niche that they're in. Yeah, they're making some bank. Eve Online really is are. doing fantastic, actually. Um, but, but a lot. Of, you're right. I mean, all these games are Lord uh, of the Rings Online, Lord of the Rings, um, Dungeons and Dragons, Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, a lot of these games they're just basically like. We give up. We're gonna try and do what the Koreans apparently have figured out. Oh yeah, they're which making is people will micro payment everything. And they're they're actually Hello Kitty doing Online. well. Yeah, Hello Kitty Online. Yeah, <laughs> you play a lot of that. No, <laughs> I'm just saying it's out there. It's, I'm just somebody's <laughs> playing it. <laughs> oh shit! I want to try. Um, is Lego Universe Online a subscription? I, don't I wanted know. to try that actually. It will be. <laughs> If yeah. it's not now, it will be soon. <laughs> That's true. Uh, so I, I don't understand this. I mean, APB uh, uh, was probably, I think it was like the fastest failing MMO in the history. It was like three oh, months. Yeah. It, was, it was unbelievable. Well, even more than uh, Hellgate London, because that went know, that away really fast. Really fast. That was pretty fast. <laughs> but it was one of the fastest games to fail out there. So, I mean, they, yeah. they must think that they've got something figured out. I don't know what it is. And the thing is, like, everybody that played it, they said it's really grindy and just not fun. Yeah, so, that's like, the problem. Seriously, like, if they bought it and they actually want to do work to make it more fun... They have to do that to make it free to play. Because honestly, to me, if you make it free to play, it doesn't mean you have to. You don't have to be as fun. Right. You actually also almost have to be more fun in right. some ways, right? Well, that's the thing is, I mean, free to play means something. It means that it brings you coming back, and you're so addicted to it that instead of just taking what's there for free, yep. you're willing to reach into your pocket to make the experience better. Which means yes. that it, you have to love it, it's like, like love hook, it, love it, right? yeah, like a real hook. Because if it's just a mediocre game, people will try it for free, yep. and you will be out of business. Yeah, so that's my worry. Uh, gamers first. It sounds like it's potentially a bad decision. Yeah. But um, hey, we'll give it a try. Maybe <laughs> let me, <laughs> if it's free. <laughs> let me let me go out on a limb. Yeah. In by the time that 2012 starts. Yeah. No more. They will not be running APB for free. Oh, it's too bad. Just it's, just saying. Oh, it just makes me so sad though. Because like the future. 
<laughs> you look at Crackdown, such an awesome game, yep. and then it got split up. You had some going people to go into APB, yep. some people going to Crackdown Two, yep. and both of them sucked. Terrible. If they stayed together, Crackdown Maybe. Two would have been awesome. The synergy, the synergy. They lost yeah, it. I know the, the secret sauce. Yeah. Um, <sighs> so next up is Epic Blue. Mm. Hey Tobin. Hey Yuzo. This is uh, Epic Blue from the forums. I just heard some amazing news, and uh, I know you guys are going to be excited. But I've heard that you know the thing about bringing Diablo three to the consoles. I'm looking on this website right now, and I quote: "It says." We're exploring a Diablo-related concept for consoles and are currently looking to fill a few senior console-related positions on the Diablo 3 team. I mean, this happens. Like, I'm going to be fall in love all over again, and I know you guys are too. It's like, I'm so excited. I'm so stoked. And uh, I thought I'd just let you guys know and share with everyone. Yow. Uh, I read about this too, but I don't. I don't think it means what you guys think it probably what do you means. Think it means. Well, I, number one, Diablo three is designed for the mouse. Oh hell yeah, the keyboard. Yeah, like Diablo one and two. Yeah, exactly. So no matter what happens, it's not going to be the same game. Right. Right. Like like they, they, uh, we were, I was at the uh, Q and A for Diablo three, and they were talking about it. it's just like they spend so much time on input. At Blizzard, mm. like input is like the mantra. Like you look at StarCraft with you know actions per seconds, all that. Like yeah. input is the most important thing. Mm. Um, for them to say like, oh yeah, we're gonna make Diablo three for consoles, to me feels like that would actually like they wouldn't do that because internally they're like, no, this is a PC game, no, this is a mouse and keyboard. We would not jeopardize the vision we have for right. Diablo three, right? Yeah, I mean, when 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 we first got this call in, my first response is like bullshit. Like wh- I don't know why they would try and put it on the console because. You don't have that many choices. Like if you try and emulate a mouse and keyboard, you would end up making the the right stick be like some sort of cursor oh, no. which you have to put over things. So the other thing what I was thinking again? is maybe they would try and make Diablo into like a twin stick shooter where, you know, if you're a wizard, you're steering with this one and whichever direction you push, you're casting fireballs off in that direction. But how many different like like the whole thing about Diablo is like you have this huge spell bar, right? Yeah. You can do all these different actions yeah. and like there's only so many buttons yeah. on the Yeah, I mean that's the thing is you have to be doing something where it's like you hold down the left shoulder button and then go through a radial menu of spells. Like Oh, I just want it, to stab myself in the eye. I know. Just like, I mean seriously. I think that what would happen is that anybody that has a computer mm-hmm. would just play it on the computer, but then Not it's sure. just like there's some people out there that are just like, Well, all I own is a PS three and I don't have a computer that can play Diablo, and maybe they're just giving them something. Well, I can see them putting something in the Diablo world, right? Like, they, yeah. they originally did that with StarCraft Ghost. Oh, you're saying like a whole different game. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay, right? Okay. Like, well, in the world, where it's like, with, with before they were trying to do StarCraft Ghost, like a first person mm-hmm. shooter, mm-hmm. it's just like totally different world, it has nothing to do with the fucking point and cluke or the queens yeah, how'd that at all. Work out? <laughs> well, there were a lot of problems with that. Like, they weren't <laughs> it never doing shipped. it. Well, yeah, they weren't doing it. It was like ritualistic or somebody. Yeah. So, um, if, uh, listen, um, everybody knows Blizzard are perfectionists. Yes. So if they do do something, it's going to be awesome, but it's going to take eight years. Yeah. And it will be unlike anything you see today, right. is my guess, right? So what's going to happen is Diablo 3 will have a game uh, for the PlayStation 4. <laughs> <laughs> which is releasing in 2015. Wait, Diablo 3 will first come out in 2013, and then right. whatever the console version will be 2020, right? That's probably true. Per, yeah, yeah, they well, need to start, start yeah. development <laughs> then, yeah. and then do the full, yeah. So um, we, We're not holding our breath, uh, but, but like you said, everything that Blizzard does is good, so whatever it is, we'll try it for sure. Yeah, um, absolutely. But if it's, you know, it's probably not, you're right, it's probably not going to be a straight port. No. Um, it just wouldn't work. It doesn't yeah. work. I mean, like, you, you need a mouse and keyboard for Diablo. Yeah, I mean, if they do something where they make it a little more casual, again, it's, it doesn't really fit within Blizzard's, like, thing. Right. But if you do something like Death Spank did, like some of the ones where you're just kind of running around yeah. shooting, it's, like, it's very simple, and that's yeah. just, it doesn't seem like that's what something Blizzard does. No. Right. No, they need something. That, I mean, they want a game that you'll play for ten years. Like yeah. Blizzard doesn't do the short game, right? They don't do the short, the short sell. It's it, they they want you for life. Yeah, and they they get it. They get. I mean, name a game that people aren't still <laughs> playing from Blizzard. It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, like they're still playing Diablo Lost Two. I've never heard of that. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> touche. Touche. Boom. Yeah, yeah, actually, what's funny was uh, at BlizzCon, they had uh, like old Blizzard games, like yeah. retro Blizzard games, and they had all these ones like, I have never heard of that game. No. So yeah, they had, a, they had a time where they were just doing like random shit. Yeah. And then I they mean, came out with StarCraft. Seriously, and, StarCraft like, 2, they will be playing you know, five years from now. <laughs> Easy. Yeah. Didn't they actually have a, didn't they have any sort of like RTS or something? Didn't they come up with something on the console? I don't think so. I don't think so. Kind of sworn. I remember saying like maybe a Command and Conquer on it or something. Yeah, it could. It could be. I I don't recall. Yeah. Uh, So then the last call is from Kooks19. 
Tobin and Yuzo, what is going on? This is Scoops19. Once again, I was watching some of your older episodes, and I noticed somebody asked what you thought the future of gaming was. And I think I have an answer for y'all's debate about that. Have you heard about the mana bar? Uh, this isn't so much the future of gaming consoles per se, but the future of public gaming, community gaming. This place is a, it is a bar uh, co-owned by Ben Yahtzee Croshaw, uh, the guy who does zero punctuation. This place is packed every night. They cannot stop getting people in. They, there are lines around the block for this place. You really need to look it up. I'm hoping it comes out of Australia and becomes international, which they're thinking it may. You really should look into this place. Yow. Huh. So uh, we did a little bit of research on this, and... It looks pretty awesome. <laughs> it looks cool as shit. It really does. I mean, it, wow. it's they, they, somebody, somebody, uh, uh, Yahtzee and his yeah. buddies, they, they got a bar space. And what they did is they made it this big open ceiling, uh, very, very open, very big bar. And then they'll have game stations. They'll have uh, uh, console stations. I didn't see any PC stations. I think it was all console stations. I think it was stations. mostly console, yeah. They had like rock band set up. Yeah. Uh, they had a bunch of other stuff like Street Fighter stuff. But the only shit we could find is like movies and videos and pictures from opening night where yeah. it was like slammed and there's all these cosplayers. Hot girls. Dressed yeah. up in costumes, and it's just like because the first thing you and I were looking at it, we're like, "This is the coolest thing ever." And then we were thinking about, it, we're like, "Well, wait, like, how does this work? Like, how yeah. do you, you know, are people just standing, just waiting for a chance in the console? Like, is there a line at well, the door? I mean, if people fighting pa- over shit? Yeah, I mean, people are packed to say, like, we've been to like events, right? We went to Street Fighter, we went to other. It's actually a pain in the ass. Yeah, yeah, you get you get drinks and you get all that, but half the time you're waiting to play. Right. And from the looks of it, there's like not that many of these console stations. So it's just like, like me, if I'm gonna go out drinking and play some games, like I want a booth, right? right. I want like a karaoke booth style, like yeah. like thing. But you had the you had the idea that I thought was badass, which was that uh, there could be some sort of reservation system like the way that people treat pool tables or something where it's just like you know maybe even it's free but you just go up and you you, you give me your id and you're just like all right you guys have the nintendo from 9 30 to 10 or you know yeah. whatever however they do it where it's like that way you can take your group and everybody gets their drinks and they gather around they're yeah. dicking around and everybody's playing against each other and it's not like one of these things where one of your buddies gets a controller and everybody else yeah. is bored and walking around and it's just I don't know. I don't know how. And, and the thing is, I bet you anything their business model is evolving. But they open the doors yeah. and they're like, let's see what happens. Yeah. And from the looks of it, I mean, again, if it's super popular, like, I would kill to have something out in the Bay Area. Hell yes. Like, seriously, booze, yeah. video games, yeah. hot girls and cosplay. Yes. Like, seriously. That's yeah. like, because I mean, the, the closest. I've had dreams like that. Really. <laughs> that's pretty much every night. That's pretty much like Japan. Like, yeah. we did that, like, right? We, <laughs> yeah, we, we did, did that like, pretty much every night in Japan. <laughs> it would be like Japan, except I could talk to people. <laughs> I supposed to kind of just like oh gawk. It would like, be so awesome. It would be like all these hot girls that I spoke their language. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Somebody open that, please. That's uh, awesome. But yeah, seriously, like if this business model works, like seriously, like if I had a bunch of extra cash, like seriously, the noob tube bar, that would be freaking Oh amazing. my God. If one of us won the lottery, we would do that shit tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Who tomorrow. cares if it lost money? Because like, look, yeah. look, look at the shit that we have, right? We have you wink. Yeah. <laughs> Right? Yeah. That bullshit. You have, like, Dave and Busters, which is okay, but it's like... They don't upgrade games, like, once every 20 years, right? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's bullshit, you know, you and they, they, they do games. great. They yeah. do gangbusters, you know? Well, they do a lot of corporate stuff. They yeah. do all that, but it's just not, like, it's not gamer culture. Yeah. It's not 20s and 30s, booze. No. So. I would be down. Yep. Um, so I hope that you're right that that's the future of gaming, because, uh, uh, you know, so far in the United States... Gaming is pretty much dying. We have no arcades. We have no LAN. Uh, uh, LAN not, what would you call them? Like LAN, LAN parties? But not LAN party, but like a, a shop. Like the, oh, the, PC Bang or PC yeah. Shop. Yeah, yeah. yeah like they're we rare, have, we super have, rare. But I mean, they're huge in other parts of the world. So I mean, any sort of communal gaming has pretty yeah. much died out here except for like the, the gaming room at PAX. Yeah, and that's actually the closest thing you have. Like when we go and we finish a Kill Cubicle and all yeah. that, it's like... That's our experience. That's yeah. our communal game experience. You can never get anywhere else in, in the United States. Yeah. Oh, Internet right? Cafe is what I was trying to say. Oh, yeah, that, yeah. Was the, that was the word I was looking for. But we don't have anything. Yeah. All of that stuff, like we had those and they died. Arcades yep. died. You know, like, so bring something. I think this, you know, all of us as the group as gamers are now like to drink. Yep. <laughs> we are old enough. <laughs> yes. And, and we've got money to buy booze. More than half of the gaming population is over 21. Yeah. Believe it or not. 
Yeah, I believe it. So I totally believe it. So I think that's it. That's our yep. show for the week, folks. Oh, yes. Please check out our website at noobtube.com. Just spin the forum by clicking on the community tab at the top of the page. Yep, and if you're watching this video on YouTube, there's a subscri- subscription button right up here. My tongue is tied from the wine. Also, Hot. rate this video with five thumbs up by clicking on my thummies. <laughs> thumbs. change that. Um, yeah, I know. So that's all for this episode. I'm Tobin Kozai. And I'm Yuzo Watanabe. Our audio engineering is for NoobTube is done by Range Coding Super Coder Struck. Next we'll see, we'll see you next week. Well, yeah. Hello, testing one, two, three, two, one, four. Bleeding from the ear. Yep. Bleeding from the anus. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say that out loud? <laughs> <laughs> Should I really say that?